Let's turn attention now to the health sector where pharmacists in Nigeria have been urged to move away from the era of just being drug dispensers to an era of promoters, advocates and educators of proper health care. National Chairman of the Association of Community Pharmacists of Nigeria, Ambrose Eze, pushed this message at the commemoration of the World Pharmacist Day in Abuja. TVC News' Kemi Balogun reports. It is World Pharmacist Day, but it has been a week lined up with activities for all pharmacists in Nigeria, especially in the nation's capital city. This three-kilometer awareness walk through the streets of Abuja kickstarts events to raise awareness on exercising regularly to prevent diseases and to stay healthy. We are health prevention rather than talking about curative. And the essence is you have to be, you have to take, you have to be responsible for your health. A regular checking of health is very essential in order to keep fit. In fact, this health work we are doing is just is the main one of the main purpose is to enlighten the public on uh, the fact that they need some physical activity in order to to to, to keep fit pharmacists at this event to end the week of activities have been urged by the national chairman of the association of community pharmacists of nigeria to document public health interventions in their communities through digitalization while also ensuring that they move away from being just drug dispensers. Documentation is the key. Digitalization also is the key. It is also being discussed as what are the policy documents that digital health the key where we have a lot of communication between the all health health providers and even our patients. In line with this year's theme, pharmacists meeting global health needs, these pharmacists are seeking ways to support each other in their practice to take their rightful place on the global stage. We need to do a lot more better than we are doing. We need to take our place on the global stage. We cannot sit down complaining that people are taking over our jobs. When we ourselves are, our, we are not doing enough to preserve our job. The theme for this year reminds us of the responsibility we carry as pharmacists. Whether we are in community practice, hospital pharmacy, research, or regulatory bodies, our collective effort will reflect our community to safeguard the health and the well-being of those we serve. They are also seeking better empowerment for pharmacists to take on more responsibilities, which will help in building resilient healthcare systems. Kemi Balogun, TVC News, Abuja. We'll take a break now and return with more stories shortly. Stay with us. Continued efforts to his Waste to Wealth initiative, Lagos State Government, in partnership with a non-governmental organization, distributed school materials made from recycled waste. Esther Mokbariola reports. With a population of about 20 million, Lagos generates approximately 15,000 metric tons of waste every day. Only 15% of this is recycled, while the rest ends up in landfills, drainages and the ocean. To tackle this issue, the Lagos State Government, through its Waste to Wealth initiative, visited some public schools distributing school materials made from recycled waste. Mostly you find these banners being used for writing scores for the likes of the Beth Niger on the roadside. But rather we have recycled this thing into good use for the students. So we're also going to use this medium to say to people that bring your use flex to the Lagos State Signage and Student Agency in Alausa and we can always put it to good use. You can partner with us. We saw the need that look rather than their um, clients or customers um, destroying the environment with used materials, what could we do better? So we reached out to Lhasa and um, we picked the best of the best materials and um, properly dispose of those which are not, are not good for, for use. The goal is to teach students about sustainability and demonstrate the importance of proper waste disposal. Are they able to bring together used uh, materials in making these school bags. Uh, that means we have a cleaner state uh, which is going to be useful for us, a cleaner environment and useful for the kids as well. Some of them, when we go to their houses, they will say they don't have bag, they don't have books that they will use. Some uniform, they don't have. So as they come now, you know that they have the bag and the book to write, they are happy. 
The Waste to Wealth initiative aims to promote a culture of recycling and environmental awareness among the younger generation, ensuring a more sustainable future for Lagos. As Tom Aquariola, TVC News. Was staying in Lagos State where the residents of Aguda community in Suruleri are protesting against a coal distribution company requesting a downgrade from band A to band B. Senior correspondent Sharon Ijaso has details in this report. It's not a regular demonstration, but a protest by residents of the Aguda Igeshatedo community in Lagos. They insist that they have engaged with the management of the eco distribution company without achieving their demands. Some of their demands are the immediate downgrade of feeders, that EKEDC must provide a maximum of 20 hours of power supply daily to the band B feeders. They also demanded that residents should be compensated and refund any excess charges incurred by customers in the community. Five rooms, not rooms of container that use and share toilet together. They gave them 650,000 naira, unestimated. Now, this is it now, man. When they share this money, each of them is to pay 125. Their house rent for a year. It's 65,000. And they have made it so easy. They said ban A, B, C, D, E. So why would they force us to be on ban A? I, that I'm speaking to you, I spent 82,000 naira on recharge. I'm on prepaid, not postpaid. Then the people on postpaid, you can't even quantify it. According to NEC, ban A is supposed to be for industrial and not for residential okay. area. And for uh, our fundamental human rights, we are meant to choose whatever, whatever band we want. Responding to the protesters, the commercial manager of Orile district of EKEDC, Sunday Babalola, says that the migration to all bands was handled by the National Electricity Regulatory Commission. I cannot hold on to the energy. As, as far as the, the, the feeder is intact, there is no problem with the feeder. Eh? This, the, the energy must move out. And once you are getting 20 hours in a day, you are bound to be upgraded to Bande Fida. It's done from neck. So it's beyond what they are seeking from, from the zona office. The residents are advised to seek audience with a co-electricity distribution company in Marina, Lagos. The community members say they will continue with the protest until their demands are met. Sharon Jasson, TVC News. And to other stories, uh, some pro-government groups have commended the Minister of Aviation and Aerospace Development, Festus Kayamu, and the Minister of Water Resources and Sanitation, Professor Joseph Utsev, for their outstanding performances in office. The groups under the auspices of the Renewed Hope Ambassadors Network acknowledge the Minister's dedication to President Bola Tinubu's administration. In a statement signed by his President, Dr. William Abu, the group said Ministers Kayamu and Utsev have demonstrated an unwavering passion for Nigeria's progress, inspiring hope and confidence among Nigerians. Dr. Abu said Festus Kayamu has elevated Nigeria's standing with strategic plans to make the country Africa's leading aviation hub through local airline empowerment, international route expansion, and airport infrastructure 